Hey guys, just a quick video to show you something cool that I got in the mail today. It's from the Etsy shop Mama Bear Baby Wear. Um, you can tell from the name that she mainly does like baby stuff, so it's going to be like um, reusable, reusable diapers and wipes and things like that. Um, so she's got a lot of cute stuff on her site if you are into things of that nature. Uh, super awesome lady to talk to, very responsive, very helpful, answers any questions that you have or any concerns that you may have. Um, and then the little sheets and stuff that she sends you comes with like care for how to care for her things and stuff like that. And you know, if you have any issues, give her a message or whatever. So, um, sorry, upside down. Anyways, what I got is this is actually for a diaper pail. So it's a diaper pail liner, but I'm going to be using it as a reusable trash can liner. And this is large enough to fit a uh, my trash can. It's a 13 gallon. So it's made of PUL. Um, so the outside's nice and slick and cool looking. She's got some elastic at the top and then you can see the inside. Um, I will be able to wash that fairly easily. Um, I could even throw this in the washing machine if I wanted to. I was even thinking that I could just do this in my little hand washer, not hand washer, but my little mini washer that I have too. So I'm going to try this out. Um, Justin obviously agreed to give it a try. And then um, if we like it, I'm going to be ordering more. And the cool thing is, is if you do need one of these for a diaper pail, check out her cute little tag first. I thought that was adorable. And then on the back, handmade with love, is on the inside. And I don't know if the description said this or not, but I was just kind of checking out the bag and found it. Okay, I found it. So on the inside of the bag is this little cloth piece. And I thought this was some sort of label that she sewed in there. But what I've seen on other um, liners and things of that nature, um, I think this is supposed to be like a scent pad where you can actually add um, like essential oils to it. So if it was a diaper pail, it would be pretty useful. Um, I don't think it's going to be as useful for a trash can though because there's going to be lots of different weird stuff in there and I think that the scent pad would just get overwhelmed by the trash can stuff. So, But I thought that was a really cool feature. So if you're going to be using this for a diaper pail or something of that nature, this is kind of a cool little feature to try out. So that is it guys. Let me get this turned back inside out. So go ahead if you want to try something like that to make your life a little bit greener, use these for trash can liners. You just take it out to the trash, dump it out, and then you would just kind of wipe this guy out or rinse it out or wash it in the washing machines. Um, yeah, and that's about it. So you guys go ahead and check her out, and I'll talk to you all later. Thanks for watching. Bye. All right, guys, and here's the trash bag in our trash can. We have one of those long, skinny, ovalish ones, and it fits perfectly, nice and snug. And I went ahead and um, just for the hell of it, put a little bit of this tangerine oil that I had on the little scent pad down there um, just to see how it works and hopefully it will be encouraged to take out the trash a little bit more often but so far we like it we'll just take the whole trash can down dump it out bring it back up and I'll either hand wash it wipe it out or use my little uh, mini washing machine so um, so far we like it all right guys thanks for watching bye hey guys just a real quick video um, something else green I am doing. We are going to start using unpapered towels and I let my husband pick out this pattern um, so maybe he'd be a little bit more encouraged to use it. It is from a company called Cloth Junkies on Etsy and I will link them below. Let's see if they have a little, yeah, their little sticker they put on the outside of the package. Come on, clear up. There we goes. Okay. So, these are unpapered towels. I got a set of 12 of them. And they are Star Wars themed. So I figured if I found a pattern or a design that Justin liked, that he would more likely be able to use them. So these are going to be thinner than like um, a regular like kitchen towel. But this is two layers of flannel, and that's the ones that I was looking for. You can use just regular uh, kitchen towels if you want to use for, for like unpapered towels instead of using paper towels. But I thought something a little bit thinner might be kind of nice to have every once in a while for smaller messes. And then you just throw these in the wash like you do normal stuff. And um, yeah, so that's it. So same material, it's just going to be different throughout. There's a lot of, lot of people on, uh, lots of shops on Etsy that make unpapered towels. Um, and they're easy to make at home too. I just haven't done that yet. 
So uh, just go ahead and check them out. And uh, thanks for watching. Talk to you later. Bye.